Yo, baby, yo, baby, yo. You are rocking with Nick T again. You are on the Lockdown with Nick segment on Come On Now, the podcast, baby. And I got a good one for y'all today. Yes, I do. Yes, I freaking do, man. We're going to dive into Dion's game yesterday. Colorado, University of Colorado, Buffalo play another game, and they look terrible again. And Dion, the head man of the team again. Is the head of the snake of this terrible team that's going on again. Another year of the same exact things that happened last year are happening again and again and again and again. No O-line protection for Shador. D-line can't get to the quarterback. D-line can't stop the run. Getting out schemed by the other team. It's happening all over again. And then you tell us, the whole year that this team is coming back with a vengeance this year and y'all are going to show the world and you're talking in every press conference, every press conference, how good your team is. And you went and got these dogs. These dogs are chihuahuas. A lot of bark, no bite. And that's what we're seeing from this team time and time again this year. It's only been two games, but we've seen enough. When they played North Dakota State, it wasn't a performance that made us say, wow. They play against some big t- a big monster team uh, that's, you know, adequate in size or even bigger than they are and on the same level of a power five school. And this is what we got on the main stage, a team that just wasn't ready to play. The players weren't ready to play. The coaches got out coached. The schemes again. When you are not getting any protection time and time again, what do you do? Do you continue continually to go into in 11 formations or do you go in, you know, 10 personnel? Do you continually do that? Do you go empty sets or do you say, dang, We ain't got no protection. Let us adjust to the team that we have this year or the personnel that we have. Let's get our own linemen some extra protection. Let's keep our running backs in to block. Let's throw our fullback in there. Let's throw a tight end in there. Let's keep some extra people in there to block. No, that's not what Dion and Pat Shermer does this year. They continually want to spread the offense and run long developing plays. Now imagine, imagine, guys. You have 30 minutes to prepare a meal. Would you make a pot roast? No, that takes time to develop, to get the pot roast as nice and tender as you would like it. You'll say, F this. I got some noodles. I got some ground turkey or ground beef. I got some tomato sauce, spaghetti. You got 30 minutes, you make spaghetti. This team is continually drawing up pot roast plays with spaghetti time. Y'all get where I'm going with that, right? You don't have the time to have these long developing routes going down the field. You just don't have the O-line, which you thought you did, to do that this year. And maybe you thought you had the O-line to do it because You're seeing this O-line in practice going against your D-line, and they're holding their own. And you thought your D-line were dogs. Come to find out, your D-line are not dogs. (laughs) They are the same team that they were last year, getting pushed around. And you can say, oh, the second half, they held them to zero points. But Nebraska, I'm not going to say they took the foot off the pedal because, of course, they want to embarrass the on team. But the game was already over. It was already decided because their offensive line, which gave up six sacks and plenty pressures, and Shador Sanders is probably still on his back right now because the guy was running for his life all game, and he made a bad decision on, on the you know, backed up on their on their goal line. 
where you made a cardinal sin. You don't throw a, a field route. You don't throw to the field late. That's the last thing you do to the field side on the throw. He did that. He was ridiculously late until a route that wasn't even, I don't even think that was a route to throw it to on the play design. I'm pretty sure he had four other options that he was supposed to go to before he came all the way back to the to the fourth option. So he made a bad play there. But all, the rest of the game, the man didn't have time to save his life or to make a right decision or make a throw for the most part. So I'm not going to put it all on him, but I am going to talk about him and saying that this is every team Super Bowl. If this is every team Super Bowl, then y'all have to play like every game is y'all Super Bowl also because the other teams are coming with intensity to destroy y'all. And I don't think y'all understand that. And that is going to lead for a team that's going to not make the playoffs again, let alone the playoffs, not make a bowl game again. And if the team continually to go in this direction, which it looked like it will be an under 500 team, we have to look back at Dion because you're making all these changes and all these bold predictions, and you're, and you're pumping us up and telling us that this team is going to be dynamic and your run game is going to be amazing. We haven't seen y'all run the ball yet or get positive yards running, running the ball all year. Like we said, the same thing as last year. And you go in the press conference and you say, well, usually when you're good at one thing, you're not you're really that great at other. Well, you better find a way to at least be adequate. Adequate. That's all we're asking for. We're not asking for the, the run game to be amazing. We're asking for them to get one yard on fourth and one situation. And then in that situation, y'all don't run the ball the whole game. And then we say, hey, we didn't run the ball all game, but on fourth and one, we need y'all to get a first down. You might as well put the ball in your door hands in that moment because that's what you've been doing all the whole time. And now fourth and one. You hand it off to this running back who I can't even – I don't even – he don't look amazing like you say. But we won't know because the O-line isn't good enough. The linebackers are scraping through. They're in the backfield. And it looked like a powder puff team. And then you told us that you have this running back who's a dog that you didn't want to give it a carry to last week in the press conference. But you're holding him back. Why? <laughs> Put the man in the game and let us see this beast of a ball player that you tell us that you have. Because right now, it all look like fairy tales and that you're blowing smoke up our ass again and again and again. The defense, they played okay under the circumstances. They were, you know, they only gave up 21 points for real. And another time, they, you know, fourth and one, they didn't convert. The defense on the short field. But for the most part, they got gashed again. The D line is getting pushed around. Their O line is creating holes that Shaq could run through. Find the biggest person that you know. They could have ran through that D-line yesterday. My co-host Rudy, who y'all like to make jokes about, could run through that line yesterday because Nebraska was bigger, stronger, more physical, and they showed how dominant a team is supposed to look. This is bad, man. Once again, Dion is putting the target on the team. And now you made us think that y'all were good and y'all were coming back. If you don't say anything, we won't have any expectations. But you made us think that this team is good. You gave us the ammo for the, the, the ammo of thinking that this team is good, of the expectations. And what we coming to find out that y'all are just shooting BB guns. BB pellets. I could I could take a BB gun, a BB gun shot, a real gun. I can't, I probably won't be able to take it as much as I could take a a, a BB gun or, or or paintball gun. And that's what this team is looking like. You know, on the outside, you're like, damn, that's a gun. And then you get hit with it, you're like, well, it's not what I thought it was. And this year, this is not what. We thought it was going to be. At least a lot of people did think that. But you kept changing our minds. You kept coming in here and Coach Prime. And this is what it's going to be this year. We, we we got the dogs now. And we, we got the right people in the building. And it's the same old, same old. We're sick of it. Because I actually want you to succeed as a coach. You were my favorite player growing up. I played DB. 
I love the charisma. I love you having your players back for the most part until it's, you know, after the game. And now people are getting thrown under the bus. But I love that about you. You don't care. You know, don't care mentality. You're going to get it done. You are who you are. But at the end of the day, we need results. And like I said, W's are what matter. And even if you lost yesterday, if it was a game that was resembled competitiveness, maybe we wouldn't be such, we wouldn't harp on it so much like we are doing today. But what, from what we see, the th it's the same team, and it don't see like it don't seem like it's anything in in the future, you know, coming up that this team will be better. Nothing we saw shows us that this team could be a good team this year. Are we going to de depend on Shador Sanders to be Superman every game? Even Superman had a kryptonite. And y'all kryptonite is on y'all own team. It's not even an opponent team. It's y'all own team. The lack of offensive line, the lack of coaching schemes, the lack of changing, the lack of, of adapting to what you have. One thing I hate is a team or a coach that don't adjust to what you have. You want the players to be something that they are not. And you and you and you coach towards that rather than coaching to saying, damn, I have two eggs. Let me make an omelet. You know, I have water, I have lemonade, and I have sugar. No, I have water, I have lemon, and I have sugar. Let me make lemonade. Stop trying to make apple juice with those ingredients. <laughs> you can't do it. So on this beautiful day in Miami, y'all can see in the background in my, in my mirror, it's a beautiful day here. I came here just to discuss what was going on in the program at Colorado. And they're going to have to make a change. And they need to be changed as soon as possible to rectify what's going on at that program. Or there would be heads rolling. And Dion head is the first head that will roll. That's all I got, man, on this episode or this small segment of Lockdown with Nick. Hit that subscribe button. Keep following us, man. We appreciate the support. We love y'all. We're going to keep bringing hot segments, hot topics daily, weekly. Me and Rudy, has a, we have our live podcast on Wednesday at 8.30. Please tune in. Please tune in. We're bringing y'all. All the hot topics. This is Come On Now, the podcast with another segment of Lockdown with Nick. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Peace.